Now, I'll show you now me unboxing them. There we go, guys. There we are. That's the headers I got. They came in. Everything's like they're supposed to be. Um, been messing with them. I looked. We won't be able to get them in from the bottom. So, what I'm going to have to do is pick up one side at a time of the engine. So, I'll pick up, I'll take the bolt out, pick this side up, work it in there, see what we need to do. If we need to do some massaging on the header themselves or maybe the frame, um, see how it goes there, get it on there, put it back down, bolt it up, do the same thing on the other side. So, it's going to take a little bit of massaging and moving, um, see what we got to do, but we're going to get it done. As you can see, got the header in there. I have the motor mount undone on this side. Got the motor jacked up a little bit on this side, and we have the headers to where they will fit. It will go on there, and it will bolt on, unless you look at that. It is going to hit the frame. So... I'm thinking if we go down and we're gonna clear here. Oh, let me show you guys if you can see this. If I go down, that number one is Osport that you see there usually hits right about there on that uh engine mount. But if you look at the mount that I gotta go down, it won't hit. So we're good there. But this will. This exhaust port is going to hit the frame rail, so I think what we're going to do is take the plasma cutter and uh, we're going to cut out some, do some cleaning up and everything, but cut out that frame right there just a little bit. It ain't going to hurt anything. It's not going to hurt it structurally or strength-wise or anything, I promise. So I think that's going to be the best bet, so I think that's what we're going to do. I will run it by my father since he is the the genius that I have just a 20 foot reach <laughs> you know it's like having Google but better all right I'll go talk to him see what he says um, I think that's what we're gonna do though and he agrees he's getting me a piece of soapstone now I can mark it with my left hand. Can't reach it, buddy. Somebody's declared the mount. It's not gonna hurt if you go a little far. I mean, that frame's there's plenty of frame there. Yeah, I said that there ain't gonna be no problem with with the holding up. Yeah, angle that. One. See how you got it straight in? I would try to round the whole thing because they, they, if you get a corner, it'll crack. If you get a round circle. There's no corners to crack. There you go. What's it across when two work bolts on so Alright guys, I got the plasma cutter out here. We have a bad storm of brewing. Well, don't look like it there, but you can see out there it's coming. Um the thunder's rolling. Alright guys, not the prettiest work, but got cut out what I needed. Take a die grinder now and I'll grind it out and make it look a lot better. And then uh, we'll get that back down in there. Bolt it up and everything. And it'll be good to go. Take the chance now, I'm going to get them mud daubers out of the bolt holes and everything. And then, like I said, get the grinder out. 
we'll clean it up and that'll be that. You shall see things. Wonderful to tell. You should see a cow on the roof of a cotton house. Alright guys, as you see, safety first, got them on, for all you guys that are all so adamant about me being safe, appreciate it. So not the most perfect, but it's going to do the job, um, the angle that I have it actually is a lot like what it was, as far as, I didn't really need it to actually be a perfect oval, or half circle, you know, but uh, it looks alright. So we're going to go and get the header back on there, go get the bolts and uh, gasket and all that. And I think it's about time to go on and try to bolt this side on. So, I'm going to go do that. Alright guys, so there's my test fit. I think it's going to work good. We'll go on and, like I said, go get the grass kits and everything and uh, we'll bolt it up. And then we'll let the side down and we'll be good to go. Hopefully everything lines up right and bolts up good. As you can tell, that side's not so blue and pretty no more. And just like that, guys. As soon as I can get in the house to get the bolts, get the gasket, it's raining. It's not raining too hard, so we'll still try to go and get this gasket and these bolts on. I had to push the, help my dad push the plasma cutter back up in there because of the rain. Alright, so let's see if we can get these, this gasket on at least and get it bolted in somewhat. Rain started to be a little bit harder, but luckily I'm under the hood. Okay, so hopefully that's all edited up to where the point where you see what's going on now. Had thunder rolling again today, but uh, put some penetrating oil in there because I was having some issues with the dirt daubers and all that stuff that was in the, the holes. Everything else is blown out good. There's none in the exhaust ports, thank goodness. So we still got the side of the motor picked up. There's the notch that I had to put in there and everything lines up good. So now we're just gonna clean off the, the ports again, get all that dirt dauber stuff out, get all that grease out and uh, yeah. Then we'll put this header on, drop the motor down and hopefully I can get that bolt in there. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes so we'll see how that goes. Make sure they'll thread on. They weren't threading on very good before. I'll throw it on good so I don't know if you guys can see but everywhere flying around I probably won't for once in my life there's one but uh mosquitoes are absolutely horrible this year um you guys just killed one Alright guys, now as you can see, header's on there, we're going to lower it down and uh, see if we can get that bottom bolt started back for the motor mount. I am going to go and I am going to let this motor down. You guys get to see before me, well not technically, but anyways, if this, <laughs> this touches, so I'll leave you guys here and I'll be back. does indeed touch so we're gonna have to jack it back up and 
take it back off and do some more uh, do something a little different I guess do a little bit more trimming there all right you live and learn we'll get it going all right so as y'all guys can see I showed you before uh, we're having a little bit of contact there so I'm gonna do a little bit more cutting with the plasma cutter um, if it comes down to it I'll, I'll do a little massaging on the header but I really don't want to and as my father has taught me as long as you don't have edges if you have a round area cut out then you don't have to worry about cracks which if I had, did not grind that down and I didn't cut it smooth in a round shape and say I had a uh, corner there right it has a lot more chance of cracking in that corner but as long as you keep it smooth grind your edges make it look good but also get any little edges or little corners out of it um, you really don't have to worry about it cracking so that being said I can't pull the plasma cutter out because it's raining I'm getting rain on a little bit as we speak but I just wanted to talk to you guys about that I'm gonna go on and upload this video don't have too much I guess to got to show you but I am working on it once this rain goes away we'll be able to play get this header figured out it's gonna work hallelujah get the brake line off of it obviously don't want it to get too hot and then we'll work towards this side figure out what we got to do over here looking forward to it wish I could do more just don't want to get his plasma cutter wet and about all I can do for now that's all I have so until next time appreciate you guys for watching if you have yet hit the subscribe button thank all of you for the nice uh, Father's Day comments and everything back to my video I really appreciate that take it easy bye bye